Hey. Yeah? So, uh, my adopted brother is gonna come visit. Uh, he might bring some friends. Are you okay with that? Sure, man. Why are you so nervous? It's because he's kind of... Hmm, how do you say it? Oh, hi, new friends. What? Oh, no, he's here. That means... Hey, brother! So hello everybody, my name is Yang Wing Wat and today welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Kakure Dai Shogun. Now, before I like to start this video, I just want to say I will not be covering the story of the Kakure Dai Shogun as I'm not planning to watch Kaku Rangers or Power Rangers, like, at all. So, now we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at each figure, shall we? So, we'll take a look at this guy first. Sorry if I don't remember all their names, it's just because I'm not planning to watch them and their names are a bit hard to remember, especially because I haven't watched the series. So, here he is. Um, you can also detach the swords at the back and make it so he can hold each of them though it does require a bit of shoving to like make it so he can hold them properly okay there you go wishing sword or you can even take this off and attach at the bottom here as you can see there's two holes right there and there's two pegs at the inside of that so you just peg them together there and boom he forms a double sided sword I mean a two headed sword what am I saying and yeah I'm just gonna move this and we'll be putting them away as they're not needed for transformation Okay, next is the frog, who I'm really tempted to call Suyu Chan. If you guys know what that's a reference to, then you're amazing. She can also open her mouth, which has other details in it, but it's really hard to see, so. Yeah. Then we got this bird thing. The wolf here. Ra. And the brick of the group, the bear. He obviously has a lot of kibble compared to the other ones. And like I was saying, the bear obviously has a lot of kibble compared to the other ones because he is the brick of the build and also the fact that he has the helmets of these two. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get to the transformation. So, let's start off with the bear right here. So, what you want to do is you want to take out this helmet and this helmet. And then you want to move his legs up. Okay. Now, you want to ratchet his feet, like just his feet, up. So, you're going to have to go like that. And do the same to the other side. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to pull down his feet so they're out of this lock, which isn't even that hard of a lock, but as you can tell by the shaking, it locks in. You want to push the feet together and move them down until you click it in. Same on the other side. Okay. Then you want to push in the neck. Then what you want to do is you want to pull out this gray piece, open the bear's mouth. Put it back in. Okay, there you go. Then close the bear's mouth. Um, make sure that the top bit is the non-hollow bit, as that is meant to be the top bit. So yeah. Now we're gonna go to the wolf. So what I want to, so what you want to do here is you want to put these legs and put it down as far as they can. Do the same to the other side. Okay. So what you do is you want to take these legs and you want to pull it up. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to take the tail and fold it in. Then you want to grab this blue mask thing and put it on top of the blue dog. 
Wolf. Blue Wolf. Um, it doesn't really click in place, it kind of just sticks there, like, it, it won't fall off anything, so, yeah. Now, let's go to the monkey itself. Obviously, remove the source beforehand, and unfortunately, there is no way to store the source in the mecha, which is a bit unfortunate, but whatever. Class his feet together. Class them down like this. I'm going to open this back panel. Fold up his elbows. Fold in the shoulders. Swivel. This part, <laughs> I forgot the body part for it, so excuse me for not remembering. And close his back. I don't know why I didn't want to close this for, but as soon as I fixed it, it started closing, so yeah, just do whatever I just said. I just need to force it in a bit. And you want to grab his helmet, and you just kind of want to shove it under. Okay, now for the frog, it's probably the hardest to transform out of all of them. So what you want to do is you want to spread out the legs, come on the other side. Okay, then you want to straighten the legs out, Oop, straighten the legs in. Then you want to use this hinge right here and bend it. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to pull down the knees just a bit, put the hands Align the hands with the legs and then pull. Like I say, align the hands with the legs and pull the knees up. Okay, okay what you want to do is you want to take the bear here, peg it in on these three pegs using these three tabs. I'm, I meant these three tabs and these three pegs. This is what happens when you haven't done the toy review in a really long time. Okay, and then you grab. The, the monkey, attach it here, grab the wolf, attach it here, then you want to grab the bird here, um, flip out the black tab, move the head of the bird down like this, and then you want to put it, and then you want to take this peg and insert it to this tab right here. And then boom! You just finished the Kakure Dai Shogun. To be honest, this is probably the best pose I can put him in, as you guys probably know. Super Sentai Makers don't really have the best poses, so I'm going to put him like this because he reminds me of Ida. <laughs> so, yes. Do I recommend this toy? Yes, this toy is freaking amazing. Like, I love everything about it. Transformations are fun. Everything is really good. The only complaints I have is the fact that this back... This back panel doesn't really like to stay in place, but it's so minor you don't notice it anyway. And as you can probably tell, whenever I move this up, instead of moving the actual arm joint itself, it moves down the bear's leg joints. So you can only do it spinning in one rotation, or if you really want to hold like the back bit of here and turn it. But it's really annoying because you know most Sentai makers you just do this and it actually turns the hands. So yeah. But other than that though, I personally think it's pretty cool. So I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode.